Okay then everybody, this is the transformation process from robot to alternate mode because he comes packaged in his robot of Iron Factory's Take It On The Fallen. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process. The review is separately uploaded, uh, but I say this not jokingly, but I sound like it. I would recommend you keep it in the robot mode because this, to be honest, is quite awful. So let me show you uh, how we're going to do it. And in honesty, I've done something that I don't normally do. I've actually reset this video loads of times normally if things fall apart um i just carry on running but the iron factory with me are notorious for everything popping off ball and socket joints what i do want to very quickly show you is the fists that he comes packaged within the box are these they are too big to do the transformation process so for some reason you've got to actually transform or take off the small fit take off the normal fists and put the tiny ones in for the transformation process to work uh what i'm going to do though is just show you how you can do it with and indeed without no fists but as i say this isn't pretty guys hopefully i can make it at least understandable let's fold the fists in like so and clip that over there this one as i say i'm not going to bother with any fist i'm just going to fold it in and rotate that in as well all right what we're then going to do you're going to turn your attention to the shoulder blade so we're going to just slightly lift this off this again swings out and <laughs> out of the way or pops off under oh, this ball and socket joint it shouldn't have done that straight away um there we go right let's keep it out of the way let's then turn our attention to this shoulder joint bring this out on this orange hinge and extend it all the way down like so now what we're looking to do is we're going to bring this back over this is going to tab into there like so and then if you spin it around to the back you can now see where you're going to tap this part in as well so that tidies this up to be honest quite well let's get that into position and it's just moved already but let's get it back straighten this out there we go as i say you're looking for it to line up on the two holes let's turn that around that's in there perfect right turn your attention to the other arm same principle bring this down rotate that out of the way and then let's bring this up and over so that will fit on that one probably looked and indeed go in and went in much much easier then you can turn this one around to this side and then tab that in as well so we've got these back parts uh, sort of done all these flames and everything move independently so what we've got to do is carefully keep them out of the way turn your attention to the underside and if you use these silver treads um, as a guide let's just bring that up as well bring the flames up just a little bit there you go to flatten that out what we're looking to do is we're looking to cascade these over on themselves so if you turn there at that swivel fold in at this swivel fold back in on that swivel <clears throat> excuse me and then over there and then tuck in so what you're looking at is the treads do fold in so you've got a lot of folding a lot of cascading uh twisting turning fold that there fold that there fold it all the way in and indeed push it in to fit pretty much like that and right there we go that's the top part ish done uh, for now so what you're looking at is that and from the back that's what you're looking at if we turn our attention i'm just going to lift this up out of the way now to be honest i'm going to bring this all the way up fold this out and then what we're going to do we're going to turn these you can see there's a teeny little tab there we're going to tab this together and i'm going to leave that because it might give you a better chance to see what we're going to do with the feet now so we're going to turn it around this way we're now going to lift this hip skirt out of the way open up the shins like so take the feet this is a ball and socket rotate these all the way around like so push this bit through the back like so and then what we're looking to do is we're going to cascade this over on itself to collapse let's move the arms out of the way to collapse the leg into the back of there like so so we've shortened out the leg we're going to then fold the toes over ready to tuck in bring the sheath the shin guard over first then tuck the toe parts in and then rotate the toes around like that for the foot so what we're looking to do open up the shin guard move the foot out of the way rotate there first push this bit through the back that's going to be the treads collapse this over on itself like so bring it all the way down like that bring this over bring the toes up bring this up point that into this little gap there like so 
rotate the feet around like that. Right, now we're going to turn our attention uh, to the underside. What we're looking at doing now is you're looking at folding this back over on itself like so. Once again, <clears throat> fold this over on the ball and socket, fold it over on itself like so. So you can see we're sort of getting the shape of a tank. And then what we're looking to do is this is going to now come all the way off. This is going to fold, break all the way out there like so. Rotate, oh, that's popped off now. <laughs> Reattach this if it does pop off. Hopefully you can tell in my voice that I've just at my wits end with this. You've now got two tabs there like so. And as you can see, I'm not being overly forceful. I'm not, you know, I'm not losing my temper. I'm just doing it nice, slow and methodical so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing because I want it to help you. Um, if you do decide, as I say, to transform it right, what I'm looking to do is bring this like that. Let's line this up with the legs. Once we've got this in, it should. He says should. I've had it go in before. Obviously, you've probably seen the review, so I've definitely got it in there before. That one went in no problem. This one went in. I would like to say no problem, but that's obviously not true. Right, so we've got that part done now. This is where it gets again a little bit crazy. So what we're looking to do is if you take the whole of this midsection with the hip skirt, rotate it all the way around like so. So this is now on the underside, which is fine. Then take the waist, which is at the chest part, and rotate that around independently 180 degrees like that. So you've now got all the treads at the bottom like so. So now we're going to move on to this top part. So let's separate the chest ever so slightly from there. Turn around to the back and then separate these parts here. And now this will enable you to drop. You can probably see through on the other side. Let's show you. You should be able to now drop these shoulders completely down. And indeed, I suppose, out of the way. This will now lift all the way up. You can take this back part off as well. Let's move these totally out of the way. Bring this up. Rotate this back right out of the way. Like so, because this is going to be on the bottom. And what we're looking to now do is spin this. Let me show you. So you can see that bit's still attached. That's what was playing up there. Rotate this all the way around 180 degrees. Lift it up. And then the same with this as well. Rotate this around 180 degrees. Now, if you turn your attention to this bit at the back, we're going to fold this out like so. And then we're looking back around this side to lift this up like so start to straighten out the tank a little bit rotate it around that way and indeed now what we're going to try and do is spin these around and we're going to tab these in as well so what you've got underneath here if i spin this around these will now tab in to the underside of this pretty much like so is it going to fit under there for me there we go and straighten this up because that's pretty much as i say the top part this is the underside what we're looking to do now then if we bring this forward and the head forward we're going to tuck that into there and then we're going to bring this over before we do that pull out this part here and extend this and then that will cover the head and that will go there all right let me just reposition this so i can show you what i'm doing so we've set this bit up ready, but what we need to do beforehand is turn our attention to, I suppose, putting the treads in the correct place. So we've got to spin this around like so on that axis. Same here, spin this around on that axis. And what we're looking at now with this bit going around the side, we've got another little part which is going to tab in. Same as like the front. So if we bring these forward, bring these forward, and then this is going to tab into the side of the front bit here like so that's the tab that we're looking see the cutout in there line that up like so again quite awkward quite tricky that's gone in same on this side Ooh, that's just missed it let me see if i can see it over the top yet there we go bring that down and it's just a case now 
of correcting what I was trying to do with the head. So that's gone down into position perfect. This is now going to come over. So what I need to do is collapse. There we go. Collapse this bit, which was the waist, to bring that down. Start to line this up. And at the moment, it's not looking great. But to be honest, that's pretty much it. You say with your mouth open, but that's because we now need to attach this part. So this, of course, was the sword. So let's take this off, pull this off here. Right, now what we need to do, extend this out, extend this out, fold this right over like so. This is going to come and just hug, oops, hug the barrel because it's going to be like the now turret. Oh, I need to lift this up out of the way. Let's bring that down. So what I hadn't done was bring that out. Fold this over on itself, fold that over. These two parts here are now going to fit into the two cutouts you can see back there and then it is just simply a case of straightening everything out because believe it or not that is your alternate mode and it wasn't fun getting it there i hope it was useful because it's more useful than the instructions but it's just not fun getting it there there is your alternate mode guys there it is hope it helped take care